because we are in this pandemic that the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And he's trying, oh, yeah. to, he's trying to steal our peace. Do you all agree with that? that yeah. Oh, yeah. Steal our peace. Oh. And I'm, I'm praying, I'm going to pray again before I begin the word. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for another opportunity to teach your word. I pray that I would decrease and you increase. I pray that the word will go forth with your awesome anointing, Father God. I pray that the anointing would destroy yokes and remove burdens, Lord. And I pray that everyone under the sound of my voice will have ears to hear and not just hear, but be doers also. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Can you turn in your Bibles to uh, Mark, the fourth chapter? Mark 4, 35. And when you have it, say amen. You said Mark 4. Mark 4, 35. So hopefully you all have already praised God this morning and shouted and danced and just really praise and worship this morning. And now it's time for the word. You may have had the word already, but now it's time for another word. Amen. If you have. Amen. 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 All right. I'm going to begin reading. And it says, um, begin reading at the 35th verse. It says, that day. When evening came, he said to his disciples, let us go over to the other side. Leaving the crowd behind, they took him along just as he was in the boat. There were also other boats with him. A furious storm came up and the waves broke over the boat so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, rebuked the wind, and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. And in the King James, I'm reading the NIV, and in the King James Version, it says, Peace, be still. Then the wind died down and it was completely calm. He said to his <laughs> disciples, why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and asked each other, who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. Amen. 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 Thank God for Brother Greeson has joined us. God bless you, Brother Greeson. Amen. So, Amen. the word that I have for you all this afternoon is peace in the pandemic. Peace in the pandemic. I want to say it one more time. Peace in the pandemic. And I want you to see here that the disciples, they were seasoned fishermen who had spent their lives fishing on this, on this huge lake. But during the storm, they panicked. And some of us have panicked during this storm. Some of us have almost panicked during this pandemic. But they panicked because the storm threatened to destroy them all. And Jesus seemed unaware and unconcerned. But you know, storms come in all forms. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Storms come in Amen. all This is a Amen. storm we're in right now in this pandemic. This is a storm for us. But Jesus seemed like he was unconcerned and like he didn't, like he was unaware. 
But that's the way it is right now. It seems that Jesus is not concerned, but Jesus is concerned. Nothing happens without Amen. Jesus knowing about it. Amen. Nothing happens without him knowing. But I want you to think about the storms in your life right now. The situations that cause you great anxiety. Now you got two mm -hmm. options. You have two options. You can worry and assume that Jesus doesn't care or you can resist fear and put your trust in Jesus. You can have peace in the pandemic. Amen? Amen. God, you can have peace in the pandemic. You know, the disciples, they underestimated Jesus and we underestimate Jesus sometimes too. And they did not see that his power applied to their very own situation. And sometimes we, like the disciples, we underestimate Jesus, Jesus' power to handle a crisis in our lives. But you can't have peace in this pandemic. Amen? One of the things that Jesus did, the Bible says he got up and he rebuked the wind. And he said to the waves, peace be still. Then the wind died down and it was completely calm. The problem with us sometimes is we want to rebuke the situation. You have to rebuke those things that come into your life and coming against you. The enemy trying to steal your peace, trying to steal your joy. You have to rebuke those spirits in the name of Jesus. Don't just sit back patiently and quietly and receive everything. You got to start rebuking some of these situations that are coming in your life. Amen. 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 Peace in the pandemic. Amen. Praise God. And so in Psalm 34, 14, you don't have to turn to these scriptures. I'm just going to go over a few scriptures right now. Psalms 34, 14 says, turn from evil and do good. Speak peace and pursue it. Okay, now some of us, we turn away from evil and we're doing good, but we're not seeking peace. You have to seek peace. The Bible says you have to pursue it. You have to go after it. Why, Apostle, do I have to seek it and go after it? Because it's the enemy's job to keep you from having peace. He's doing what he's supposed to do. And that's stealing from you. But you got to make up your mind that I'm not going to have the peace that the past is all understood. All understand. Regardless of what's going on around me. I can have peace in the pandemic. See, you were having peace before the pandemic came. But now that we're in the pandemic, where is your peace? Where is your peace in the pandemic? And I understand that a lot of things are coming against us. Amen. We don't know. We don't know whether to wear the mask or not wear the mask. We don't know whether to go outside or stay in the house. We don't know whether to take the vaccine or don't take the vaccine. It's a lot of things that are coming against us. But you can still have peace in this pandemic. Why? Because Jesus is the Prince of Peace. He's the Prince of Peace. Glory to God. And he said in Isaiah 26, 3, he said that thou will keep you in perfect peace, whose mind Amen. Is Amen. Because he trusts Amen. in him. He'll keep you in perfect peace, but see, the key is your mind has to stay on him. You can't be thinking about everything. You can't let every situation come and take over. You have to keep your focus on Jesus, amen, in order to have peace in this pandemic. Just like when they were in the boat, Jesus, he told them, he said, oh, ye a little faith, because they had lost their faith. They forgot about the power that Jesus had, and Jesus was right. They had seen Jesus doing all the miracles. They had seen Jesus, you know, feeding the 5,000, feeding the 4,000, healing the sick, uh, giving sight to the blind, you know, the lame. They had seen <laughs> Jesus doing all these things, but yet and still, they did not think that he could take care of them in this storm. And some of us, we have lost. We, we've just lost our confidence.
Corinthians. We still believe, but we're a little shaky. But God is telling me to tell you today that if you sit it up under this word, you won't be shaky anymore. You are going to have your peace. I release peace back into yes, each and every one right now in the name of Jesus. What the devil meant for evil, God is going to turn it around for your peace. Amen. Amen. In the midst Amen. of the storm. You know, we've had storms before. The pandemic is not the only storm that you've been in. You've been in some other storms, but now in, you think God lost his power because of the pandemic? You trusted him to, to get you out of other situations, but now you're thinking, but this is too hard for God. But the Bible tells me there's nothing too hard for God. Amen. Amen. John 14, 27, Jesus said this. He said, peace. I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give you to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. See, if you let the fear go, then you'll have the peace back. I said, Amen. If you, if Amen. If you lose the fear, then you will have the peace back. You know, you got to mm -hmm. understand that the worst thing that can happen to us is, is if we left here and went to be with Jesus. None of us already want to go at this particular moment or this particular season, this particular time. We want to stay around a lot longer. And Jesus wants me to tell you today, with long life has he satisfied you. So you got to get that out of your mind that you're going to get corona and corona it might kill you no 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 i told you last week don't be afraid of what can kill the body but be concerned about who can destroy the soul amen Glory right right hallelujah mm. that's who you gotta say that's who you gotta rebuke the devil he's trying to take your mind he's trying to see if he can get your peace then he can get you to be confused. Balo, balo. And if he can get your peace, he can get you to be confused. Well, should I put on a mask? Or should I not put on a mask? You know, should I? Well, I don't know. Should I get this hand sanitizer? No, that hand sanitizer is poison. So I don't know what to do. And that's the devil is a liar. The, the devil, devil is a liar and the truth ain't in it. Messiah. I said the devil is a liar and Jesus is the Messiah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. I'm not going to put my mask on. But if I forget, I'm not going to have to come all the way back. I forget my mask. I'm covered with the blood of Jesus. The mask is not what I'm putting my faith in. My faith is in Jesus. Glory. In Jesus. I said we're going to have peace in the pandemic. Amen. Because that's why I can't. See, the devil said if I could steal that peace and I could steal their joy. And Amen. If I could just get them, then I can cause them to turn around. Maybe I can get them to backslide. Maybe I can get them to go back into the club and start doing the dances that they used to do. Maybe I can get them to pick up a drink, you know. Maybe I can get them. He's that he's trying to bring other things to you. But the devil is a liar. Amen. Amen. God, we're not ignorant of his devices. I don't care what happens. I'm going to have peace in the pandemic. Peace, now, peace. Guess what? Guess mm -hmm. what, Saints? This too Amen. shall pass. Amen. It didn't come to stay. Amen. It came to pass. Amen. Glory to God. How did I know shot that? God is taking us over to the other side. We are going over to the other side. Amen. Praise Amen. God. And I'm not talking about heaven. I'm talking about on the other side of this pandemic. That's what I'm talking about. Amen. Amen. So Romans 14 and 17 says this, for the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking, but a righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. So Amen. I ask you this afternoon, are you in the kingdom? Are you in the kingdom of God? Because if you're in the kingdom of God, the devil cannot steal your joy. He Thank cannot you, steal your peace. He cannot steal Thank your you. righteousness. Because it's not my 
own righteousness. It's the righteousness of Jesus Christ. I'm not righteous because of what I do. I don't do everything right. You don't do everything right. But my it's the righteousness of Jesus Christ that I have. When Jesus died on the cross, I received that righteousness. Amen. 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 No coronavirus, no COVID-19 can take this peace away. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. So Hallelujah. 4 and 7 says this. And the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your thoughts in Christ Jesus. See, I told you that's what the devil, if he can get your peace, then he can get to your heart. If he can get your peace, he can get your thoughts. Amen. Oh, you're going to have crazy thoughts during this pandemic, even more crazy than usual. But the Bible says you have to cast down every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ and bring every thought into captivity unto the obedience of Christ. Amen. 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 Peace in the pandemic. Well, Apostle, you sound crazy talking about peace in the pandemic. Well, I am crazy because I'm crazy about Jesus. I lost my man to Jesus a long time ago. Hallelujah. So I don't think like the world. I'm not like the world. We are in the world, but we are not of the world. The world, All right. you're going to die. You don't put the mask on, you're going to die. If you go outside, you're going to die. Bad. Don't go to church, but you can go to Walmart. You can get your nails done. You can do all these things because <laughs> why? Because that's what you want to do. But when it that's comes to church, do. They, they shut the church down. They shut it down. Yeah, they shut it down, but that doesn't mean that you can't have church. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm. If you Hallelujah. Have, you're going to have to start meditating on the word day and night. Because Joshua 1 and 8 says that if you meditate on the word day and night, then you shall make, you shall have good health, and you shall make your way prosperous. Amen. But Amen. You Amen. It. You got to want this peace. As it says in Psalm 34, 14, you got to seek this peace. You got to pursue it. You got to go after it. Amen. Have Amen. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And his righteousness and all other things will be added unto you. Amen. If you know Amen. about seeking the peace, if you know about seeking the kingdom of God and his righteousness, then the peace is going to come. Amen. 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 Come. Amen. But the problem is that some of us, we are not seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. We're not doing it. And I'm in some all of you here maybe somebody that's watching me not doing it. Yeah. Somebody on the internet, somebody on the YouTube, you know you're not doing it. And then you're not doing it. And then, then you want to have peace, but you gotta do first Matthew 6 33, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Amen. What is Amen. God doing the things the way God wants us to do them? Amen. Now, see, we're not, we're no longer our own. We are bought with a price. Amen. 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 We're no longer our own. We are bought with a price. We cannot continue to do things lead to our own understanding. Trust in the Lord. Acknowledge him in all our ways, and he will what he will direct our path. Work it out, amen. 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 Glory to God. But we got a really saints. I'm telling you all, this is the word from the Lord that He gave me because this is what the enemy is doing, trying to steal our peace. You turn on the TV, and the numbers are still going up. He's trying to steal your peace. Amen. 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 No, you can't take this medicine. You know, it's and we we really that's why you have to look to the Lord. You gotta look to the hills from which come of your help because your help comes from, from the Lord. But we're gonna that's have right. in the pandemic. Don't underestimate the power of God like the disciples did when they were on the ship with him. Right. Don't underestimate it. We cannot under and you know they were with God. 
They were with God every day. They was with Jesus. Amen. Amen. They were with Jesus every day. And they still underestimated him. So we don't have to do that. Amen. But one thing, we got the Holy Spirit with us. He left the Holy Spirit here with us to be our keeper, to be our comforter. Thank you, Lord. We have the power of God in us. Amen. 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 Situations that take authority over it. Amen. Praise God. Because God said, I've given you, behold, I've given you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. He said, nothing shall hurt me. So if I keep my peace, that means I'm not going to go out and go against what the state is saying, what the government is saying. I'm going to obey the law of the land, but I'm not going to be afraid. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have peace. Amen. If I don't have peace, how can I share it with someone else? Mm -hmm. We are the salt of the earth. And if the salt has lost its flavor, what good is it but to trample up under our feet? We are the light of the world. And uh, mm -hmm. not to be put up under a bushel. But to let our light shine brightly. Amen. Amen. Great works at his glory. Then Amen. you're not thinking about being soft. If he got your peace, all you're thinking about is getting my peace back, getting my joy back. But I'm here Amen. to tell you Amen. that you don't have to let it go. And if you did let it go, I decree and declare. My Lord. We have peace again today, right now. Anyone under the sound of my voice, you will have that peace that surpasses all understanding. I decree it, I declare it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we're going to have peace in the pandemic. We can't peace. Peace. The pandemic is here, but I can do something about having peace. Amen. Amen. I don't have to let the devil steal it. Amen. So we're going to remember that, that even though we're in this pandemic, we are going to have peace. Amen. Amen. We want to have peace. We got to start casting down things, saints. You got to start casting down those things that come up in your mind. Don't just sit and think. There's so many people in see, going through depression right now. And they're going through depression because they lost their peace. Amen. Yeah, it's nothing else to do. You get scatterbrained. You know, when you don't have peace, you're going here, you're going there. You know, can I go to the doctor? Should I go to the doctor? I'm afraid to go to the doctor because when I go outside and go into the clinic, then I'm afraid COVID might be there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I'm just afraid. I'm afraid, Apostle Thomas. I don't have peace. COVID is everywhere. Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. COVID is not more powerful than God. I keep telling you. If we just mm -hmm. Amen. 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 God is the one that's powerful. COVID is under our feet. What did Jesus say? He said, I give you power to I tread power. on serpents and scorpions and over all the power to end. So treading means you got to walk on it. You Hallelujah. Gotta, it's under my feet and I'm walking on it. Amen. That's what tread means. Amen. Amen. It's not just for us to hear Amen. it and not apply it in our minds. We have to really, really apply this word, especially now during this season we're in. Because it didn't come to stay, it came to pass. We're going through this. We are going through this season. Amen. 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 You say, I'm going to keep my joy. Mm. I'm going to keep my joy. And I'm going to keep my peace. And keep my peace. Keep my peace. peace. Man, all right. You have to keep saying and telling yourself that over and over and over. My joy and my peace. Because, like I said, I'm not trying to pretend like there's not so much going on that it would tempt you not to be peaceful. But I'm saying that you can take power over. Amen. Mm -hmm. it's, there. it's all around I us. See that. that's what they did. See that's see Jesus. The reason he rebuked the disciples. Is because 
he he was disappointed that they they should have known better. My Lord. And can't you just see God telling us, looking down on us and say, you all should know better. Don't you know that I have you in the palm of my hand? Don't you know that it's not time for you to leave here? When you leave here, you come to be with me, but it's not time yet. Oh, no. Oh, don't no. You, know you don't have to be afraid because God has not given you the power of, of uh, giving you the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. Amen. Jesus is telling us all of this. So in, in a way, it's kind of like we're getting rebuked. Amen. Amen. I'm talking about anyone. I have to remind myself that I have to keep my peace. And then another thing I want you all to understand, when you do go out and these spirits come forth in people and they come against you and they start doing crazy stuff, saying crazy stuff, looking crazy, and they start, they may not have on a mask, but they're looking at you crazy because you got on a mask. These are spirits. You got to understand <laughs> these are spirits and you have to rebuke them. Amen. Not to rebuke them. You don't let you don't let that bother you. Well, in I the name of Jesus, you have to rebuke. Them. Out. I can't go out, and the devil is a lie. I would not be bound. Now, when I go out, I'm gonna put my mask on, but I'm not gonna be bound. Okay. Amen. Probably okay. Amen. Amen. He come Amen. On the and then another thing, thank you, Holy Spirit. You gotta bind up these spirits. The Bible oh, yeah. says, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. We got to bind up. We can bind up things. We don't even have to say it out loud. You can bind it up under your breath. You know when you're standing with some, near somebody or approaching somebody, you can feel that spirit. Just bind it up. Amen. My Lord, my Lord, rebuke it in the name of Jesus. We let so many things just, just go free. Around us, as if yes, we don't have power. How mercy on us, Jesus! And what about the Bible in Acts one and eight saying, "You shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost come upon you." Do you have the Holy Ghost within you? <clears throat> power. Amen. Do you have the Amen. Holy Ghost? If you do, you got power. See, we we got to realize. See, this is the thing. We, in some way, we're acting a lot like the disciples because just like they underestimated him and Jesus was disappointed with them and rebuked them because they should have known better. We, we have read this word. We should have known better. We should know better. Hallelujah. But, mm -hmm. but we're going to do what? We're going to do better. Amen. 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 We have to just ask the Holy Spirit to help us because Please. he's with us and Jesus is with us. Jesus said, I will never leave you or forsake you. When you learn better, you do good. Peace in the pandemic. Amen. Now, once the pandemic is lifted, it'll be easier for you to hold on to your peace. But right now, you gotta you got to seek it. You gotta pursue it. You gotta fight for your fight. peace right now. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 You gotta fight for it right now. You gotta just rebuke the situation. You gotta say you're not stealing my peace in the name of Jesus. And you, Hallelujah. Have, you know, you didn't have to uh, really put this much uh, focus and emphasis mm -hmm. on fighting for peace in your life before this pandemic came. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Because why? Because as Christians, Jesus, he already said, he said, peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. He said, I do not give to you as the world gives. Thank he you, didn't Jesus. give us the kind of peace that the world gave. The world thinks that we gotta have, we're going to have peace because we put on a mask. The world thinks we're going to have peace with hand sanitizer. The world oh, no. thinks we're going to have peace with gloves. The world so. won't get peace by staying in the house, afraid to go outside. But Jesus said, I didn't give you that peace. He said, that's not I gave you the word. He said, I, yeah, I left the, my peace with you. That's the See, that's the we don't even have our own peace. Mm -hmm. Really? Jesus said, my peace I give.
forgive you. You got the power of God with you. Amen. Amen. So we're going to stand up. We're going to take authority over this situation. Glory to God. Glory. Because, glory. Because God is not pleased <laughs> when we act as wimps. When we, act like, when we have no power. We don't know what to do. You know. Hallelujah. Yeah, you know, even we got to trust God. And when you trust him, you're going to have your peace. You know, even the Hebrew boys. <laughs> That went into the furnace. Shadrach mm -hmm. and Abednego. Hey, hallelujah. Go into that furnace. They told the king, they said, Oh, King Nebuchadnezzar, we know that our God will deliver us. He can deliver us, but if not, amen. So you got to stand up to COVID and you got to say, I know my God will deliver me, but if not, See, you always got to say, but if not. See, we forget about the but if not. What do you mean, apostle? I mean, but if not, then if you if you leave here, you're going to be with the Lord. As Amen. God is present with the Lord. But you got to be like them. They had peace going into the furnace. My Bible did not tell Thank you, Lord. that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego went kicking and, and hollering, yelling, well, it was going into the furnace. Now, I don't know. No way. Come on. Back then. No they had it. They, they went peacefully. They walked into the furnace. Thank you. Yes, Lord. they did. And since mm -hmm. we are in a furnace right now, amen, this pandemic is a furnace. But because we're in the furnace, glory to God, you got to understand that just like when they got into the furnace, it was a fourth man in there with them. Well, guess what? It's a fourth man in this pande pandemic with you. Amen. And his Amen. name is Jesus. Glory to God. That'll preach. <laughs> Come on. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. So my Bible tells me that when they came out of the furnace, they didn't smell like smoke and they didn't even look like they had been in a fire. Mm -hmm. God wants me to tell you this afternoon that when we come out of this pandemic, you're not going to look like you've been in no pandemic. Oh, Amen. Like you've been in no pandemic. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. In the pandemic. Amen. Glory to God. I thank God. Glory. Word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh I thank God hallelujah, because every time when the enemy comes in like a flood, God always lifts up a standard. And the oh, enemy yeah. came in thinking that he could trick us. But we're not mm -hmm. of his devices. We understand now what he's trying to use. He's trying to steal our peace. But we got peace. And we're going to keep peace. We're going to have peace. In the pandemic, we're gonna have peace after the pandemic. Why? <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. In perfect peace, who man is staying on him because what? Because we trust him. That's all you gotta do. When you trust him, you're gonna have peace. Amen. 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 Let's give the Lord praise for his word. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father God, thank in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your word. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God, that, that you showed us today that we can have peace in the pandemic, Lord Jesus, because some of us have lost our peace. I thank you for giving it back to us today, everyone that was under the sound of my voice. I thank you, Father God, for replacing that peace, Father God. And now thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Forward, Lord. And we can know that as long as we seek you first, seek first your kingdom and your righteousness, that everything else will be added unto us. We don't have to be worried about what we have lost. If we lost something during the pandemic, we know that you will replace it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So we're not worried, Father God. 
because we know that you are yet in control. You are yet sitting on the throne, glory to God. And Lord, how that about Shande? Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. People can, thank you. The Lord said people can look at us and see if we have peace in us. They can see it. They can see it. Amen. Amen. They can see when you have the fear. So thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. He cannot use us when we have a spirit of fear and we don't have peace. He can't use us. Amen. But I thank Amen. God that as, as the Holy Spirit said, we all have peace that surpasses all understanding and we're going to keep it. To God be the glory. Amen. Praise God. Amen. 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 Thank awesome you. word. Thank you. Amen. Good Amen. word. Amen. Yes. Amen. Praise the Lord. Does anyone have any remarks? Praise God. After that word, anything that you the Holy Spirit has given you, praise God. Anyone need prayer? You can speak up now. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. I need prayer all the time. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Thank you. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray for Florence, who is my mom. I pray for her right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father God, how you have kept her and you're keeping her. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for her walking in divine health. I thank you, Father God, that from the top of her head to the bottom of her feet, Father God, anything. Thank you, Lord out of you has to leave right now. Anything, any infirmity, anything that tries to attach itself to her. Amen. Hallelujah. Right now because she belongs to you. It's yes, Lord. Day. And you said, touch not my anointing and do my prophets no harm. And I know that she is your anointing, Father God. So I thank, thank you, Jesus. Glory to God for everything you, that you're doing in her life, Lord. I thank you for the peace. I thank you for the joy. I thank you for her health, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that you will continue to watch over her. And I plead thank the blood of Jesus thank you, Lord. in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Apostle. Thank you. Okay. Praise God. Anyone else? Praise God. Because, see, this is the church. So we're at the altar right now. You know, when the preacher gets to My Lord. you're at the altar. You're at the altar. If you don't want prayer, you don't have to. Uh, I don't have to pray for you right now. You can, you know, you all know. But if you do, you got to understand that this, this, the anointing is flowing right now. Amen. It's been flowing. Amen. The whole message. But there's an anointing right now that anyone that needs prayer for anything, praise God. You got the peace. Amen. So, well, praise God. Everybody got peace. <laughs> Work with it. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Everybody, I guess it's up to Amen. 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 <laughs> Free to declare peace over everyone. Nobody needs prayer for anything. Amen. 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 Once again, I want to thank you all for joining. And uh, mm -hmm. a couple of people are missing that normally join us. And I know, I believe, um, Sister Queen, she might be in, in her church. And also, uh, my sister is out doing her the historical march. She got a chance to go to Washington with her husband. Amen. Amen. Thank God, and we pray for a traveling mercy for them on their way back. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Representing our family. They're representing our family. So we're not there, but we're there in spirit. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Amen. Thank God for my best friend, Reverend Paula Moss, who has been my friend over... Well, I put it like this, since I was about 13 or 14. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many years that's been. A lot. <laughs> so thank her for coming on. Amen. 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 Everyone is looking beautiful, praise God. Did you have anything that you wanted to say, uh, Sister Reverend Paula? I just praise God for being here, and uh, I praise God for modern technology. Amen. <laughs> Amen. To, to be in the midst and in the mix. Amen. Amen. I love you all. Amen. Love you too. Sydney. 
Amen. Good to see you guys. Amen. Good to see you too, to see Father. You too. Amen. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Lavelle. Oh, thank you so much. Amen. It's Amen. Good to see you. It's been a long time since I've seen you. I'm so blessed to see you on here today. Amen. Amen. Mm. And to your Amen. lovely wife. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. <laughs> One day, one day we'll be back together again in person. Amen. Amen. Yes, we will. Amen. Yes, we will. Amen. We shall rise again. That's Amen. Right. Amen. Well, I'm going to go ahead and um, sign off so that we can all go back and continue to do whatever God has for you to do. Amen. Once again, I thank you all and thank God for his word. I know one thing, it blessed me. Awesome word. That was an Bless awesome me. word. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. Thank you for the word. Amen. Praise God. I never have really looked at it like that, but the Holy Spirit said, you know, it's, it's even more difficult to have peace now because of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. I heard the Holy Spirit say that, and I knew it was the devil because of the devil. And I said, okay, then I need to decree and declare that we're going to have it because we are king's kids. Amen. We are in the mm -hmm. priesthood. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Amen. All right. Amen. Well, praise God. You all have a blessed evening. Grace yes. and peace. Yes be unto each and every one of you and I love all of you and I will see you all here with a word from the Lord next week. At Amen. Bye. Amen. Bye. 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 Have a blessed Amen. Bye. afternoon, Apostle. <laughs> love you. Bye. Bye. Thank you guys. Bye. 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 Love you. Bye. 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 I love you too, baby. <laughs> How you doing? Okay. Love you, Sydney. All right. Bye. When I said bye. <laughs> so I don't want y'all to be sent out when I click. Amen. The doors of the church is closed. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't stop. Keep going. <laughs>